Welcome to this tutorial video showing you how you allocate roles as a super user in the IDAMS management system. So this is a screen you'll see if you're a super user. You'll have the three icons here. And just to recap, the my, my identity icon is your account details. So if you need to change your password, do a reset or something like that, this is how you update it. The my team section shows you all of the users who are registered at your trust and the invite employee icon. This is for an example, say you've had a new member of staff who's joined your trust or someone whose roles changed, who now needs to use the online forms. This is a quick and easy way to invite them. So now we'll go into the my team icon and this will show you everyone who's registered at your trust. And as a super user, you can allocate roles. So just hit the my team section and at the top, it says manage the users for your organization and it will show you everyone who's registered. So these are three dummy test accounts that we've set up. This is my account. Um, when every time you log in, and if you're super using you have many users, it's easy to pick yourself out because they'll have a little orange icon. And then each user will have the same three options. So update user, so to add new roles, etc. Delete user, say someone's left, or suspend user if you just need to pause their account access for a little bit. So just hit the update user section to see who's got what role. Okay, so you can see here, this user doesn't have any roles currently set up. And it's really easy to uh, assign new roles. So you just literally just press sign a new permission button. This will open up a, a list of roles that this user can have. Um, so we're only gonna look at the uh, academy roles. And you see at the top, it says test one, test two, so the name of the person. So we'll pick the budget forecast one. So I want this user to be a preparer. So just simply press prepare and the add section on the bottom left, it'll come up with the success. So it's just to tell you that it's done it. They also need an Academy Trust uh, accounts return role. So again, I'll put these as a, as a preparer because I know that they'll need them and it just saves time, you know, in a few months. And they also need a land and buildings collection tool role. So I'll give them the approver role. So just simple, just press the green button, that role will then disappear from the list and you'll see success. So you just hit the little close button at the top and it'll bring you back to the top screen for all the users at your trust. And if you scroll down, you'll see that this user has now got three roles. So they've got the budget forecast preparer role, the land and buildings collection tool approver role and the accounts return preparer role. And I'll just show you another another user. So this is another test account. Click update user. This has a slightly different screen because they do have some roles. None of them, none of them are pending. Otherwise it'd appear there. These are the ones which have been approved. And if they've been had any rejected for picking the wrong ones, it would appear there. So here we can see this, but this user has a map development improvement funds. This role is no longer needed. So all you need to do is press delete. And you can do this for any role and the role will delete. And then again, you get the little success box in the left corner. And you can see that this person doesn't have a budget forecast role and I want them to do some work on it. So you just log in, assign new permissions and you see the names change at the top so you can keep track of which user you're in. So this is the budget forecast and I would like them to approve the return. So you simply press approve or add and it will approve and it'll show you that it's been approved in the bottom left corner. And then if you scroll back and go down and you'll see that under the update user section this user has now two approved roles so we just let it open up so it's got the budget forecast role and the land and buildings role so if you want to add any more or delete any more you just simply press assign or add and also I'm going to just show you how to set this person as a super user so all you do is press assign as a super user and this person now has access to do the super user role for anyone at the trust. So this video has just shown you how you do the super user role adding for the IDAM system. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, please use the Academy questions link on this webpage. Thank you very much.